Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 6th, 2022. Well, doggone it, on Friday, those bears went back to work, and we continue to maintain this choppy range in the market. And this morning, guess what? The bulls are back. So as we continue to chop in this range, we still have quite a little lot of resistance above. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, we continue to chop. If you guys remember, I had marked out this potential range here in this chart, and we continue to be stuck in that diamonds range. Um, we've been chopping back and forth, chopping back and forth, and it seems like every day there's another big investment bank that comes out warning us of, you know, potentially awful um, market conditions ahead. But with that said, there's still a, a lot of speculation here in the market, continuing to drive the market back and forth as we continue to chop around. So on the good news side of things, let's notice that we have that potential in here that we've created, we're creating a higher low. We haven't broken down through that support level in here. So on the bullish side, we have to give this up to the bulls. There's that downtrend break and they're trying to push us higher um, in the market. But unfortunately, we've got a lot of resistance above here in the chart. If they can find enough inspiration, I would truly think a test right up in here to test that 50 day moving average looks likely. But after that point, I'd be a little bit cautious and careful because I suspect those bears could still be ready to attack. So watch that carefully um, and closely as we try to test that 50 day moving average. It's close enough. It just seems to me like a likely outcome. We're gonna run up there and um, take a look at it at least. Um, so watch carefully for that possibility. Now, once again, if those bears um, were to re-engage, we're gonna wanna watch this area right through here. You know, if we break down below there, then I would say all bets are off and the possibility of more lows in the market um, would come into play. If we take a look at, at our SPY, SPY very much the same thing where we could actually be working to catch that little higher low in here and push on higher. Unfortunately, here in the SPY, we're locked against a very, very strong um, level of price resistance in the chart. And if we were to push through or able to push through that, I want you to notice that we have an even stronger level just above there um, in that 50 day moving average. Now, Diamonds has a pretty good chance of testing the 50 um, in a move. I think there's a little bit less chance of the SPY reaching up there into the 50, but we've got a rather light week of data um, coming our way until the end, uh, until Friday. So who knows, they may utilize this light week to push us on through to the upside and test some of those levels. If we take a look at our NASDAQ, our NASDAQ has been the weakest of the bunch here, um, really struggling. But that said, once again, we have this higher low that could be setting up in here and that opportunity that we could push through. Unfortunately, once again, we've got this pretty substantial level of price resistance in that QQQ chart that re could restrict us to the upside. And I think in all of these indexes, guys, even though we've got this bullish move trying to, trying to happen, we have to remember overall, we're still downtrending in these markets. And you know, um, you heard Jamie Dimon say there's an economic hurricane on the way. Bank of America said prepare for a summer of hell. Um, there's a lot of bearishness out here in the market still from those uh, major institutions. And we know that the Fed is no longer there to back the market. So the reason I bring that up is if those bears start in, you've got to be a little bit careful and watching these price resistance levels as we attack them. That's exactly where the, they could have built defenses to uh, push back. So watch carefully for that. If you take long trades, make sure you're 
knocking those profits out pretty quickly because it could reverse just about as fast. Now, our QQQ has a very big price resistance level there before it makes that 50-day uh, moving average engagement. So probably if I were to set odds on this, um, QQQ has probably got the least odds of being able to test that 50-day moving average before we see more bears coming into play. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM has already made, notice right in here, made that higher low and we're trying to stretch this trend up this morning trying to push through. Now one thing I'll caution you on is a trend that's that steep probably not sustainable um, for a long term, but IWM is gonna make that test of the 50 day moving average. And let's keep in mind guys, that that is a massive um, area of price resistance in the chart and that possibility that, well, that might be the end of the move for IWM. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, pulled back at the end of the day on Friday, pulled back a little bit and got just down below that 25 handle. So good news is here for the bulls, we're trying to hold in there around that 25 handle and there is some price support right in that area as you can see. And we continue to build this wedging pattern here in the chart and trying to hold on to that little upside trend. So there's that little wedge and trying to hold on to that support. With the big gap up I th we see this morning, I think there's a pretty good chance we'll break down below here um, in that chart. But remember, we've also seen a lot of those pop and drop patterns lately where we pop up in the morning and then immediately run into those bears and they push back. So even if we were to push down through there, there is that possibility that we push down and reverse, come right back up. So watch that carefully. We're kind of at that point of decision here on the VIX. And then if we take a look at our T2122, now this, whoops, our T2122 is not real helpful for us right now. Um, we're gapping up big this morning and we're likely going to be gapping up right into the top here of this bearish reversal zone. And we've seen this before where we can peak and then we almost immediately get um, punished to the downside. So if we were to pop up in here, again, we need to be watching for that potential pop and drop where we gap up and then find those bears and we start pushing back down. Now let's keep in mind, we don't have a whole lot of upside room here uh, that T2122 will allow us. We know that we've got um, this area up here that we have set, when I mentioned this as we moved up here, that we can stay up here for a while, but just keep in mind, we all, <laughs> there's never been a time in T2122 that we stay up here forever. We always find that way to come back. So watch carefully. Um, it could occur at any time. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 did a pretty good job of holding in there on Friday. As you can see, we held up in here. We've got a little tiny uptrend going on in the chart. We do want to keep in mind there is substantial resistance above in T2107, and we still have a big old downtrend yet to defeat. So although it's nice, we've got 27, 28% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average doesn't necessarily make a bullish market yet. Um, if we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 had a pretty good rally, but as you can see in that rally, we still have to beat this downtrend. And although we've rallied up substantially, 43, 44% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average, it's a vast improvement, but we still have lots of price resistance in here and that downtrend yet to be beat so big improvement but not just quite you know we where we can call the all clear here in the market we'll feel a lot more comfortable and we'll probably get it today at least at the open where we'll have at least 50 percent or more of the stocks above the 50 day or 40 day moving average on that gap up open but that still doesn't change that downtrend now let's take a look at our t2101 our t2101 has been 
um, kind of challenging here lately. And one of the reasons is, is as we've been rallying, we've been rallying on lower than normal volume. But that being said, we're pressed up in here into that range so we'll have to watch that carefully we were to spike out remember when we spike out up here we tend to see a little bit of that selling come into play um, so watch that carefully but the good news is is we have broken th back above some resistance areas in the chart as we continue to push up but if we take a look at our uh, charts here you're going to notice there's the diamonds chart We've been working with some pretty low, whoops, sorry, that's a two day. We've been working with some relatively low um, volume numbers here in these charts. So uh, it's, it's a tough call in here whether or not we're getting enough momentum to push on through or if we just get enough levity to push up to test some of those um, 50 day moving averages and then um, the bears take over so just watch carefully if we take a look at our earnings calendar for or excuse me let's look at the economic calendar first our economic calendar this week we have a pretty darn light week um and it's been a while since we've had one this light um which does give a little bit of opportunity for those bulls to take advantage of it um as you can see almost nothing going on here today except some short-term bond auctions international trading goods um, will be coming out on tuesday we've got that petroleum status number on wednesday of course jobless claims and it's all going to culminate in this big number on friday and everybody's worried about that um, i think there is kind of a concern out there that we could see um, the cpi actually move higher so watch that closely as we move toward the end of the week but we've got this light week that gives well anything anything possible we may be a little bit more sensitive to um, um, anything in the in those um, economic or news reports or even geopolitical events could be more give us more sensitivity because we've been so beat up on these economic numbers that um, having that period of time where there's not much there may give those bulls that opportunity to rally like they want to do if we take a look at our um, earnings calendar our earnings calendar is also starting to diminish pretty dramatically we have uh, 11 companies on the calendar today that are confirmed um, of those 11 companies not a whole lot of real notables to move the market a lot um, COUP is on that list today been in a really ugly downtrend um, we'll want to watch that one close HQY would be one of the notables for today it's been trying to come back up here and rally this will be an important one as we approach price resistance in the chart um, we've got NGL on that list today um, pfft, yeah not really worth mentioning and um, SAIC on that list and this is gapping substantially higher this morning on its earnings so watch that price resistance here as you can see in the chart significant price resistance as this tries to come back up this there's just a huge range here that this is going to have to work itself through so um, watch that one carefully let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy to be helpful if you could please do me that favor and continue to click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments that helps the channel to continue to grow and if you feel um, um, like you'd like to I'd, well I'd really appreciate it if you just share this video out there on your social media feed that continues to help grow the channel as well and thank you so much to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video you guys are truly awesome now we're getting close to 28,000 subscribers. I never, never thought that that could even be a, in the realm of possibilities. And I just want to say just a huge thank you to everyone. Um, you guys, 
it's just truly awesome so thank you so much let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and remember guys these are not um, recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful because of this choppy market anything is really possible let's take a look at a couple of techs AKAM um, as you guys remember I talked about the possibility of this one popping higher we've got a little price support in here notice that we're trapped right underneath this little range here um, in the chart if I draw a trend up here we're getting close out here toward that trend where we may find that inspiration to perk on through to the upside and then I want you to keep in mind that we've got a pretty good size gap up here that could be filled if that could hold watch for that opportunity maybe to the upside there to fill that gap um, take a look at um, ADM a, um, not ADM, AMD. There we go. AMD. AMD made that really nice move um, on Thursday and then, you know, sucked a lot of it back on Friday. And one of the reasons I think that is, is I think it's a little bit steep in its ascent here to the upside. That's a trend not likely to be sustained. So you'll want to watch that carefully. I think there is that possibility that we could get a little bit of a rest. Um, in this chart a little bit of resting pullback and then I'd look for that next opportunity to the upside you want to keep in mind there's quite a little bit of price resistance here in the chart and what we're still trying to do is we're still trying to break out of that big old downtrend so maybe a little bit of consolidating rest in here to prove that it can hold and then AMD might have some upside opportunity watch that closely and you can see in here up above its 50-day moving average and um, I think there's a pretty good chance it'll challenge that 200 day here soon so watch amd you might want to take a look at um, um fedex now fedex had kind of an interesting <laughs> round of volatility here so it still may be challenging but as you can see if we're going to be a bullish market if things are going to improve we're going to need these shippers because as we know pretty much everything gets shipped to us nowadays we don't go to stores as much as we used to and um, you're going to want to watch this carefully we're trying to break that downtrend trying to hold in here now keep in mind that would be a pretty Pretty steep trend if we were to just take off right there and probably couldn't be sustained so we may want to plan for that possibility that this is going to have to rest up here and consolidate to hold this area up here before that can get going so keep an eye on FedEx you might also want to keep an eye on some of these inverse ETFs take a look at things like um, um, RWM RWM whoops RWM is an inverse on the um, um, IWM or the Russell. And if you take a look in here, we're coming down into some pretty big price support in the chart. Now, we saw lots of news reports here that the big institutions are saying we've got a troubling summer ahead. So I would start watching something like this. If this holds, in this area and starts to perk back up those might be opportunities to pick up some inverse ETFs if the market does turn bearish again so watch carefully in there if that were to hold some of those inverse might be interesting to watch if you look at like QID QID is also doing that same kind of a pattern where we're pushing down into some price support in the chart and if we can start to hold in this area and that pop comes to the upside there may be some opportunities there if the short side does show up here in the market other places that i think um, you might want to take a look take a look at paypal paypal is trying trying so hard to get something going here trying to break out from underneath all of this junk and as you can see we've got price resistance in the chart but i like the way this is formed up had a nice little pop on this day and we're resting back in toward that trend watch for that opportunity here for that to pop to the upside you might also take a look at sq sq is very much the same doing that same kind of pattern trying to come up out of that downtrend and hold it 
get a little price support in there watch for that opportunity that that might start pushing through to the upside now you do want to keep in mind on these charts they may have limited upside because of our moving averages above but they're worth keeping an eye on because they are trying to show that bullishness and come up out of those uh, downside patterns take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks you know we've had quite a little bit of volatility in these as well but take a look at Philip Morris Philip Morris running in here on this trend it's kind of J hooking is what we would call this where we're resting in here along this support area kind of J hooking out toward trend in that opportunity that that could move on through to the upside so watch some of those carefully we're seeing some of those defensive sector stocks do pretty well some of them not so good um, I think coca-cola is one of those trades that can go either way really easily there's our downtrend in play there's our support in play so as this continues to wedge out in here i think this has that possibility if we can find that inspiration this could come on through to the top side or it could come on through to the bottom side so a possible long or short in here depending on how this sets itself up now again remember guys if we're going to break this downtrend i want to see a break i want to see proof it can hold and then look to the upside if i'm looking short i want to see this fail I want to see this rally back to resistance and then show me that entry signal along the downtrend here to take a short into that position. So don't just blindly rush in because somebody says that there may be some opportunities there. Take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot is, I think, noteworthy here and something to pay attention to. Two, um, notice that we're breaking into that higher low here on that chart. And as we try to push on up in this level, we've got this major resistance level we're trying to break through. So keep an eye on that. We're seeing some of these guys trying to come up a little bit. And what I like about this is it's breaking back up above its 50 day moving average. So getting up there and holding in here, holding along this trend might set up that next opportunity that we could push up toward that 200 day. So I think it's worth keeping a close eye on. So there's a few charts for you to look at, a few charts for your list. Hey, I want to wish everyone a fantastic day. Um, I would be um, uh, remiss, I think, if I don't say watch those resistance levels above. Be careful with the wild speculation to the upside. And with this big gap up this morning, we're going to have to also be a little bit cognizant of the possibility of that pop and drop. So watch that carefully. Don't just blindly rush in thinking the all clear has been sounded because well, all of our major indexes are still in a downtrend, so respect the resistance above. With that, everyone, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.